In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Kalimera, good morning. Today, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, we are now getting very close to that great and holy week and to that great time of celebrating our Lord's glorious resurrection. Today, we are concluding with the fourth Sunday of Great Lent, and it's kind of a beautiful and unique Sunday as today we have a connecting aspect in which we are celebrating the after feast of the Annunciation to the Most Holy Theotokos. Now, what's so unique about the Annunciation of the Theotokos and the fourth Sunday of Great Lent is that they are connected in a beautiful and interesting aspect and item, so to say. And that item is a ladder. Has anyone ever used a ladder? Of course we have. All of us have used a ladder. Whether it's us to use a step ladder, or to use a big ladder to get on top of a roof, or to reach something really high. But uniquely, the church shows us two beautiful ladders. One is Jacob's ladder that we hear about in the Old Testament, and the second ladder is the ladder of divine ascent. Now this is something really unique, because the way we can compare the two is that in Jacob's ladder, we hear a connection from man to God, and that the angels were ascending and descending. Coincidentally, St. John, who is the writer of this climacos, the ladder, the ladder of divine ascent, teaches us that there is a way to ascend to God as well too. And this comes in a manner of spiritual upbringing and offering humility of ourselves to be joined with God. Now this is something foreign. Because if we look at the Virgin Mary that we saw yesterday in the Great Annunciation, you saw her to be a woman who was devout, who was prepared to listen to the good news of Archangel Gabriel. And then from there, with a little fear, with a little doubt in the beginning, as she was, again, a human. But that is why our Lord trusted and appointed her to become the Mother of God. That from there, when she understood and heard the whole news from Archangel Gabriel, she then said, Henceforth, myself as a maiden of the Lord, let it be unto me his will. That is something very powerful because then she was obedient and she was understanding the sacrifice and the beautiful humility that she needed to have to take on the greatest role in the world, to bring forth Christ, our Savior, into the flesh and to bring life into the world. Now, St. John, who is the writer of this ladder of divine ascent, many years later comes into play because he is continuing to give us the opportunity about how do we enrich ourselves to become a good example of having Christ in our lives. Just like the Virgin Mary and her own type of asceticism, she struggled as well too to focus on being with Christ continuously. And I'm not talking about Christ after she gave birth to him. I'm talking about before the great announcement of the Annunciation of Theotokos. St. John and his struggles and monasticism went out into the desert and was there for 40 years. Now we're going to hear about someone next week who also was in the desert for over 40 years, and that's St. Mary of Egypt. But St. John Climacus did this on purpose to leave the vain glories of this material world and to live a spiritual life with God. How foreign is that to each and every one of us? Us, a relationship with God. When I come to church for an hour, I feel like I'm doing my duty. When I do my cross, when I'm driving, I'm doing my duty. When I wear my cross, I'm doing my duty to be with Christ. I pray at my house for a little bit. I pray for something usually what I want, or I pray for some sort of thing that God can give me. But then in turn, is that really a life and an embodiment with God? Because when we look and study this beautiful writings of the ladder of divine ascent, St. John teaches us that the only way to achieve this relationship with God is to humble ourselves before God and to understand the virtues of God. That's powerful. That's something very intense that many of us don't think about. Because if I see what the virtues of God are, I should apply them to my day-to-day -day life. We understand compassion. We understand humility. We understand empathy. We understand mercy. We understand service and offering, prayer, almsgiving, fasting. All of these are tenets of living a life with Christ. Coincidentally, Great Lent allows us to practice those for about 40 or so days. And then we get back into the mundane lives. And then we get into the struggle and then the gunk that comes upon our spiritual beings. But how do we listen to those beautiful words of St. John, 
this young, this gentleman who was out in the desert, who in his own ascetic struggle simply wanted to build a relationship with God. And we need to look nowhere else except the Holy Mother, the Theotokos. Because as she is a bridge that connects us to her son, St. John of the Ladder of Divine Ascent is also a bridge that connects us to God. One physically, because the Virgin Mary brought Christ into the world so that salvation could be come into the world. And then St. John with the Ladder of Divine Ascent shows us spiritually how we can be saved when we live a life with Christ. Will we begin with that first step when we're climbing up that ladder to offer humility and then to humble ourselves before God? Because it is not the pride, it is not the ego, it is not all of the glory, all of the wealth and everything that we have amassed in life that God is asking of us or desiring of us, but he asks us for a humble and contrite heart. And so let us challenge ourselves as we honor this most beautiful day, the fourth Sunday of Great Lent, and how we see this beautiful connection of yesterday's important, the pligorti, double celebration of the Annunciation of the Theotokos, and then yes, naturally, of our Greek Independence Day as well too, but more so that so we could find our own independence. First, from the physical struggles that hold us down, which are our sins that we commit, and secondly, that freedom of spirituality where we are united with God. Because when we are humble, when we are offering love, when we're offering compassion, when we're offering mercy, and every virtue that is defining God and also defines this ladder of divine ascent, I too will climb it. I too will struggle. And as we heard today in today's gospel reading, and the man, when he saw his son in pain, exclaimed to our Lord, I believe, Lord, help my unbelief. Let us plead to our Lord, Lord, help my weakness. Let me believe and let me trust in you. Amen.